Hey Fair Faces, it is Clary Berry here and I'm really excited to share with you guys today about this article my little sister gave it to us. I guess it's a Teen Vogue uh, magazine, a little small one here, and it has an article on vegan athletes. So I was really excited to read this and I wanted to let you guys know about it. Basically, it's a really good article. It's really positive. It talks about um, some dancers like ballerinas in the beginning. It's specific this one girl named Juliet who just basically decided to go vegan. She just kind of figured out through trial and error that, you know, when they were telling her pushing protein, 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 that she was really sluggish and lethargic and didn't have a lot of energy. And so she started eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. And then it goes on to talk about other, it's got a nice little right up here of other athletes that are vegan or who it says at least flirted with veganism so of course it goes you know into kind of the health aspects of it saying for athletes as well as anyone going vegan it's important to stay well fed with the right foods in order to be healthy there are no health risks as long as the diet is well planned so this is just another article that is backing up the fact that veganism is completely healthy, can be completely healthy if you have a good, nice, well-planned diet. It does talk about B12, how you need to get B12, and it talks about protein, calcium, iron, and like I said, vitamin B12. There are some things that I disagree with. It talks about the biggest challenge, this doctor from um, a DC from New York, Charles Passler, a chiropractor and nutritionist whose clientele has included Victoria's Secret Angels and athletes living all over the United States, says that the biggest challenge is getting protein, B12, carnitine, and creatine, which are primarily found in meat. First of all, creatine is not essential. Your body can make it through other compounds in, in your body, and most of the time vegans don't have a problem with this at all. B12, yes, I agree. I take a supplement for B12. I think everybody, regardless of whether they're vegan or vegetarian or omnivore, should all be taking B12, but that's a whole other story. And the fact that it's hard to get protein on a vegan diet is a complete myth. And it shows me that this guy doesn't have a lot of actual experience with it because I personally know vegans who aim to eat really low protein and they still get over the amount of protein that you need. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. You know, carbohydrates are actually more important to have before and after even bodybuilding. I think that if you look at a lot of the vegan, a lot of the athletes out there, regardless of whether they're vegan, a lot of them are gonna be deficient in carbs because they're trying to cut down on carbs. They're not gonna be deficient in protein. As long as you're eating a balanced diet, I've said it a hundred times, you're gonna get enough protein, regardless of whether you're actually trying to or not especially bana uh, bananas, especially vegans who eat a lot of fruit. There's actually protein in the fruit and it all adds up. If you're eating a 3000 calorie diet or, you know, even 2,500 likelihood of, you know, unless you're eating just total shit, the likelihood of getting your protein is huge. So, you know, it is good. This doctor saying they can have the same athletic performance as meat eaters. And, but he kind of says it weird. He says, it's not necessarily true. So there are a number of options with high percentages of protein, including tempeh, tofu, soy, hemp, quinoa, seeds, and beans. He says these items can help you to give your body what it needs and still optimize your health or performance if you're athletes. And I just would caution again, it doesn't have to be high protein foods or high fat foods or any of those particular foods necessarily to get your your amount of protein for the day. It's a myth. Even doctors and nutritionists are overlooking this fact because of the way that their training is so specified. I know because I'm training to be a nutritionist. So he says when a vegan or when an athlete doesn't get enough protein, you will start start to experience sarcopenia. That's a fancy way to say muscle loss, a potential problem for many vegans. Um, a lot of people, everybody's different, first of all. And so, yeah, if you are noticing that you don't, that you're doing a lot of workouts that should be building muscle consistently doing these workouts and that you're not able to build muscle, then yes, you might want to seek out some of these foods. But like I said, I mean, he talks about quinoa. That's a grain. All grains have protein. Wheat has protein. 
um, everything. Corn has protein. Like I said, bananas have protein. So you don't necessarily need to seek out these foods. So it talks about the guy who, Brendan Brazier, who started Vega. And again, it, they're pushing protein. They're pushing this vegan, vegan protein. I don't take any protein supplements. Um, my muscle is, oh man, I just I did it earlier. I can't flex very well. <laughs> there we go. The left one's better right now. You know, I haven't really ever been trying to like build a lot of muscle. I do a lot of cardio, so I'm not really a good example of this, I guess, because again, in order to build muscle, you have to actually do the exercise. It doesn't just come from eating protein. So it's really, it's really just kind of silly and a mute point that he even goes in to talk about this. It talks about different vegan documentaries and books and talks about how you can find vegan groups, vegan communities all over. It says you won't become a vegan overnight, nor should you. And that's another thing I disagree with. I definitely think it is okay to become a vegan overnight. Um, I definitely think a lot of people aren't going to go that route. And I personally did not because my mind wasn't ready to go vegan. But then when my mind, but if I had wanted to, I'm pretty sure I could have done it. Again, staying, staying carved up is a huge part of this lots and lots of calories especially in the beginning and they talk about nature box vegan foods to your front door you know i haven't really had any experience with those a lot of it's snacky stuff and it's not going to be the best stuff especially if you want to be an athlete so um you know this is a this is a sponsored magazine a corporate magazine so i'm not surprised that they're plugging in some companies instead of just saying hey go eat you know a bunch of bananas or whatever and it also talks about, um, you can find websites and blogs and it lists a couple. So again, overall, this is a very good article. And here's the other quote that I wanted to find here at the end. Dr. Passler explains that in general, eating vegan requires a lot of hard work and attention to detail. Again, this is not true. With the amount of vegan foods there are out there, you can go vegan overnight. You can have a good, healthy vegan diet without really thinking about it at all. Just take your B12, get your sunlight, and take some vitamin D if you need some. And, you know, yes, keep learning, but you don't need to do all this research before you go. Just eat healthy. It's going to be healthier than what you're doing. You don't do a lot of research to eat omnivore. So, you know, people have been eating the same way for hundreds of years and it's obviously not working so the alternative almost however you do it is going to be better so just go for it don't wait don't listen to this crack on my knee stuff that says oh you can't go overnight it's really hard it's not it's not really that hard <laughs> if you want to be the super healthiest you can be yes you want to pay attention to detail but overall being a vegan psh, no not at all so and then this is the part that really got me and really made me want to make this video a bit of tofu here and some chickpeas there won't cut it. Small quantities of protein are just, just aren't enough to meet the quota for a training athlete, which can reach as much as one gram of protein per pound of body weight per day, according to Passler. Yeah, um, yeah it, that is true. You, you do need more if you're training really hard, but I noticed that my protein hasn't really gone up that much since I started training a lot harder. It's really kind of negligible. And again, if you're eating enough calories throughout the day, you are going to be getting that protein. And for him to say you have to seek out these these specialized foods to get your protein. Um, no, you want to eat a wide variety of diet, but you shouldn't be like counting out your protein every day. Like, oh my gosh, I got to eat more chickpeas. I got to eat this and that. Because you know, although they list this, most people are just going to read this and start pounding in the protein. And that's not something that you need to do. Even plant and plant protein is way better than animal protein. Animal protein causes cancer, all sorts of other stuff and a very acidic diet. But even, you know, plant protein is not good in excess either. For athletes, and I just finished the athlete section of my nutrition book, carbs are so much more important than protein. That's why you need for carbs. You need 60% of your diet from carbs, at least if you're an athlete. So, and I do like 80. And again, when you're eating high carb, lots of good whole food, plant-based foods, regardless of whether they're known as protein foods or not, you're going to be getting a lot of protein. So just eat wide variety of whole food, plant-based vegan foods, and you'll be covered. 
there is a rarely a day where I fall below going, getting more than I need on protein. So anyway, Teen Vogue, this is the deal. So again, it's called Vegan Strong. And overall, pretty good. Like I said, a few little nitpicks here, but again, so happy to see veganism in the news. Veganism is going way, way up. It's really getting, it's, it's trending right now. So that's awesome. And let's keep it up, keep spreading the word. You are doing a great job and I'm here for you. So let me know if there's anything I can help you guys with. Don't forget to eat your fruit and have a wonderful, cruelty-free day. Except for when you're snuggling your cats and they don't want to be snuggled. Right, Neil? Oh. <laughs>